Hello and good day. This is Sven and today I have for you a tutorial to create a Google service account in order to use the Notmation Google Sheets feature. So first of all, you will look on Google and you will find several links. Uh, one of them will state creating managing service accounts. When you click on it, uh, this page is going to appear. This is in German, so I opened it in English. And this is the same, exactly the same page. So you're on cloud.google.com in the section creating managing service accounts. And if you scroll down, you have this nice big button open the service accounts page. If you do that, you might be prompted to accept the terms of service, uh, which you can do. And then you're uh, in, in this interface uh, where you can, first of all, create a project. I have no projects here, so I'm going to create one. It's going to take a short while. Okay, right here we have our test project. You can see it up here. And now we can create a service account. Now, I will give it the role owner. So I have full access to all resources. Please restrict that uh, to just give the API account the resources that it needs. But for uh, this, for the sake of this tutorial, I will make it owner. Continue that. And now I can create the key JSON key, create it, and it downloaded it for me right here. And I have the service account with my project ID and my private key ID as well as the private key itself. So this is here. As I am going to delete the account soon after, we can work with this uh, plain text one. Um, without me feeling bad about it. So I'll create a new window. And show you how this is going to look in the end. How this should look. <coughs> now we have to change this private key a little bit. Now I use v, um, Visual Studio Code, but you can use any other. Um, you can use any other editor. So first of all, we need to remove the. Uh, I don't know the the new lines. So I will replace any new line with nothing. So the new lines are gone now. And we are left with only one line. You can see it right here. It's just one line, everything in one line. But it needs to be three lines. So have the begin private key and the end private key in separate lines. So this is the way that you want your private key to look like. Right, so if you go to Notmation and paste it, oh, 
Oops. Something's wrong now. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, sorry. Make new credentials. Google API. And we have the test API, the email, which should be inside of the JSON as well. It's right here, client email. And I have the newly transformed private key. I will paste it to here. And because I created the credentials now manually, I have to give access to Google Sheets in this case. And I, now I created the credentials and I will use this. And now we have to create a new one. Welcome. Let's create one. The name of this doesn't matter so much as the name of this. Let's call it log. And data. So I have the example sheet. And now this is the part of the doc that's interesting for me so I'll copy that and paste it to the sheet ID and now I will use only the range A and I think this is about it and now we need some data so in this simple case I'll just set oops oh we can use that as well but let's put it this way and um, we set it to working fine so data is set to working fine and maybe you made the connection already the uh, table head, um, the column head uh, says data, and this is exactly what I put here data. So this should be working now. If I. No, it's not. Get no start line. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, now we can see this is different, and I hope this works now. Okay. I haven't um, enabled this, so let's do that real quick. Let's use the email address and share the sheet to uh, with the service account so it can have access so let's do it once more Let's do exactly what they want us to do there. Google Sheets API, enable it. Okay, I figured it out now. So let's change this one 
and have the a key value pair right there okay and we can append um, we can append this so I think it's empty now yes there you go now it works so what uh, what else did I do I set this to append but you can also now uh, say update uh, the sheet ID stays the same and the range has changed from A to B so this is the the columns that are included in the uh, in the lookup so it will look up a column with data but if you have more values you can use any number of columns the key row is starts with zero so the key row is the first one and it will just post the the key in this case i think it uh, it takes it as a data point now because i used the key in the json okay so if i change this to update and data start row will be one um, because the other ones are the column heads and the key row is zero and the key will be key so let's have a look if this works let's put another value working exceptionally produce this and update the rows and let's see what happens nothing happens why because we don't have the key two. so let's put the key two and try again there we go we have the key two, and now it finds it and adds our new data working exceptionally so I hope you have some kind of idea how to use the Google Sheets node and how to create the service account as well as adding, especially adding the private key. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want no more videos on Notmation. Hit the like button if you got any information out of this. If you didn't like it, please let me know what can I uh, what I can improve. And see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.